My name is Phil Newman, and I'm the CEO and founder of First Longevity Limited. Longevity science is real. Where it differs from the wider healthcare markets is the sector's focus on overcoming the hallmarks of aging to mitigate disease, compress morbidity, and potentially delay death. The longevity narrative has changed. With the maturing of the argument and the toning down of the thousand year lifespan rhetoric, there is growing confidence from both the research and the investment communities in the science of health span and lifespan, or as we call it, longevity. The global economy for longevity is set to reach 26 trillion by 2026. But timing is everything. Demystifying this opportunity for both investors and investee businesses is paramount. And that's where we come in. There are now over 100 companies in longevity research and product development in the fields of senolytics, telomeres, stem cells, mitochondria, and gene editing. These are what we call rejuvenation therapies. From these domains, the therapies that increase lifespan will ultimately emerge. The road to ultra longevity will be long, and so will some of the development and regulatory approvals required for rejuvenation therapies for R&D pipelines. Meanwhile, early stage companies all around the world are releasing nanobots, reprogramming nerve signals, and applying AI to create exciting and scalable contributions to the longevity economy. These are of great interest to us, as are rejuvenation therapy businesses. Longevity is a huge market that's still defining itself. 27 trillion by 2026, with 800 million by 2026 for rejuvenation therapies. But why such a broad range of scale and industry valuation? Well, it depends on where you decide to draw the line. We focus on longevity industry 1.0. So where do we come in? Well, first of all, for investors, there's the risk of missing out on genuine longevity opportunities. And for investee businesses and startups, there's the risk of trying to fund your business through equity investors that don't truly understand longevity. That's why we've built a huge community of investors and investee businesses that are now looking to move on to the next stage of funding. First Longevity Limited has been formed to capitalize on the growing longevity opportunity. Longevity Technology, our news platform, launched in September 2019 and delivers high quality daily news and insights to a growing international audience of investors, startups, academics, and consumers. Crowd Longevity, our crowdfunding platform, will launch within six months of funding close and will present pre-screened longevity technology businesses to our growing investor community. As you can see from this information graphic, our plan is to be the number one digital asset for longevity, investing and technology, successfully funding businesses through equity and likewise building out our strong network of key opinion leaders to support ongoing funding. Currently, our plan is on track and we are already ahead of revenue. We have already progressed well with our roadmap. We have achieved our objective of being recognized as an authority in longevity. Every day we are reporting on how longevity industry and its players are growing and consolidating. We require investment to participate in the equity benefit that we are creating within this market. We've created a significantly strong team of senior advisors as well as our board. I'm joined on our board by George Sutherland, our non-exec chairman. George has over 30 years of experience in both healthcare and international marketing. Tom Britton, our non-exec director, is a founder of Syndicate Room, and he's bringing his experience of working with professional funds and private investors to our business. On our advisory panel, we have a stellar lineup of international financiers, opinion leaders, and scientists including Jim Mellon, who is a founder of the longevity movement, as well as an investor in our business, George Church from Harvard, Aubrey de Grey, who many will know in the longevity industry is a founder of many years. Joining them are international experts in both biotech and AI. So let's talk about longevity technology, our daily news platform. We developed the content for longevity technology between April and September, 2019 in stealth mode. We launched on the 4th of September and have rapidly established a brand within the longevity tech and investor community, working with researchers, startups, investors, analysts, and consumers. Our traffic has grown significantly 
And as each day goes by, we improve the focus of our content and grow our brand equity. We've become the fastest growing platform in this space, achieving over 124,000 impressions per month. What's important, of course, is that that gives us significant insight into what's happening in the space. We know who the companies are, how much they're raising, and what their stage is in terms of their readiness for market. Longevity Technology is a news platform, but we are moving into paywalled content. Supporting this, we have sponsor revenue, advertising revenue, e-commerce revenue, and special reports that we plan to roll out every two months. Subscription revenue is not factored in, but we are intending to work with subscribers to access our key industry data which of course will underpin the work we're doing in our investment platform. So let's talk about how we're going to participate in investment. Let's talk about Crowd Longevity, our special purpose vehicle for raising equity rounds in longevity businesses. The symbiotic relationship between our news platform and our funding platform cannot be overestimated. We get the inside track on what's happening with exciting startups, their funding and market readiness, and of course, they benefit from the publicity we can provide them. In June 2020, we conducted research with 133 respondents that were either investors or startup businesses. Our investor respondents were obviously very significantly focused on seed, startup and early stage investment opportunities. We are looking to build a cohort of high net worth and sophisticated investors with a deal appetite between 5,000 and quarter of a million. When we asked these investors, would they consider investing in a longevity specific digital platform? As you can see, the wide majority said yes. So that's the investor side of the story. Let's talk about the startup businesses. We're delighted that there's great alignment between both groups, and we're looking to leverage that with our business model. The majority of investee businesses are looking to seed or series A funding rounds, which aligns perfectly with our cohort of investors. 47% of companies are looking to raise between quarter of a million dollars and $3 million. And again, we asked this cohort, are they interested in participating in an online platform for longevity fundraising? And again, you can see many of them said yes. We have identified that the SPV or special purpose vehicle model is the most expedient in creating equity funding rounds, where investors pull raised funds into a single structured legal entity. Our plan is to do this both in the UK and in the USA with US, UK and European investors and startup businesses. We have hedged that only 50% of the startups that we work with will be successfully funded. Although we expect this yield to be higher, we're being conservative. The target raise for these companies is set at 500,000 pounds and our fees are intended to be 7% of the raise. It is planned that companies will be at seed stage, however, an increasing number of these companies will be looking for Series A, and we intend our platform to be able to support this. We intend to achieve 12 investments in our first year, rising to 45 in year two. So in summary, First Longevity has a unique combined approach. We have the news platform, which provides us with a community that we're building and growing every day, insights into what's happening within the marketplace, and insights into what's happening with startup businesses. Aligned with that, we have a cohort of investors and partner funds operating within the crowd longevity SPV model, which means that we can actively participate in the equity opportunities that we create. We've already received £245,000 of investment in this current round that we have open. Investors include Jim Mellon, who's a very seasoned longevity and equity investor. The seed funding round target is 400000 we have received advance assurance for EIS from HMRC, and we are seeking £155,000 to complete this EIS round. Thanks very much for your interest. We're looking to close our round by the end of this year, 2020, and we hope you can join us on this exciting journey. Please feel free to reach out to either myself or our chairman, George Sutherland. Here are our contact details.